You never see hiders just biting off their own heads to create more. I don't see hiders very often, you're right. Probably because it must be painful as hell. Yeah I bet that'd hurt. How do you know? Maybe we do it all the time. Now this is what our shower thoughts should be. None of this life pro tips bullshit that spams this sub. There is a MTG card that references this called Hero's Bane that references this in the flavor text. Traveler's Tales claim that hiders bite off their own heads to make themselves deadlier. In D&D terms I believe it takes 25 damage to cut a head off and it only regions 20 so it would eventually kill itself doing it too quickly but over the course of a few days it could do it. But that begs the question do hydras start with one head or more? Can't say that I have. Great point. Probs because they hate each other and don't want even more to deal with. I'm just imagining this in my head. Hail, Hydra, immortal Hydra, we shall never be destroyed. Cut off a limb and two more shall take its place. Could you imagine getting rid of a shitty roommate and two more takes their place? And now I can't stop imagining a 200 head Hydra not being able to move because it's too heavy with heads. More mouths to feed probably. And hash X200B, you never see hydras. More mouths to feed. That would be a logistical nightmare. They don't want more mouths to feed. Whoa whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. There's actually a magic. The gathering card that says a kind of hydra does this. It's called Hero's Bane. But how many heads can Hydra have before it has too many? Like does it take more nutrition to sustain? Is there a point there is too many and the body can't hold the heads up? I need someone to do the math. It's Beck I, I never see a Hydra. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.